Good morning guys. I am again on my way to the fertility doctor. Today is my sixth day that I will be stimming. So I did last night and then tonight I'm supposed to do it again. So I'm going in for my first ultrasound to see how things are doing. I'm really excited. I'm really having hopefulness that the follicles are growing and that there's a lot of them. I'm praying for that because I have been in so much pain the last day. Like, it was crazy. I, the first like four days, no, the first three days of stimming, I had no symptoms. I felt totally fine. And then day four, like it, at night, I started to feel a little bit of like cramping, kind of. I don't really know how to describe it. It kind of felt like a little bit of cramping and it was uncomfortable, but it wasn't like painful, painful, you know? And then yesterday was day five and I was just in discomfort like all day. Like my ovaries feel like they're cramping. It's kind of like period cramping is how I would describe it, but like more spread out because your uterus is right here, but your ovaries over here. So it kind of feels like the same pain, but in a different part of your body, which is really weird, but it really is uncomfortable. And I don't know if it's just because the follicles are growing and like the ovaries are stretching or what that could mean. So I'm looking forward to going into the doctor today and having them tell me like, hey, this is what we think. So I'll ask her about that. And I'm also really excited to see how many follicles we have and what size they're at so we can kind of start to get an estimated time of when I will be doing my trigger shots. My doctor had told me that I would respond really well to the medications for her guess because I was so young. All my numbers were great, like my ovarian reserve number because we're male factor infertility. So there wasn't really anything wrong with my part of it. And so she's like, your body's probably gonna respond to the drugs like super well because you're 21, all of your numbers look great. So my assumption is that I am responding really well to the drugs, but my ovaries are like popping out, like follicle growth, like everywhere. And that's probably why it hurts so bad. So I'm thinking that that's what it is. I don't know for sure, but so I am on my way there right now and I'm gonna vlog in there and see what we find out about it and Justin comes home tonight I'm so excited I've missed him so much I'm really actually I'm hoping Justin comes home tonight because a lot of the times his ship will um, change their minds and be like oh we need to stay out an extra day but he's supposed to come home tonight so I'm gonna remain hopeful for that because I really have missed him the last two weeks and I want to like update him on everything that's going on so I will talk to you guys at the clinic One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I got about sixteen on this side. I think that's the same as it was. Was it? It's good. The They're all still there. Sometimes you lose them along the way, but these look good. And then, sorry, right over just a little farther up. I apologize. It's like kind of the same on this side. 16. Okay. Okay. Three, 16. Okay. Perfect. So here's how some of my best follicles are. There's the 12.36, 12.5, and then some of them are smaller, like the 8.6 and the 8.85. So, having citratite tonight. So the appointment went great. Um, she said that everything was looking the way it was supposed to, which is good. I had some big follicles that like I showed, like I think it was like a 12, and I had like two 12s and like a few 8s, so like a really wide range. Um, so tonight I'm starting to mix my Centrotide with my Menopure, and I'm upping my Menopure from one to two vials. I'm excited, and then my next appointment, today's Friday, the second of September yeah and my next appointment is this Monday the 5th at the other office because the 5th is Labor Day and they're closed 
but the office in Del Mar that they have is open. So I'll be going there on Monday and I'm really excited because I think Justin gets to go because I'm pretty sure it's Monday off too. And we'll be able to go together to that for the first time and I'm really excited. So I still haven't heard from him and it's like 8.18 so I don't know what time they're pulling in but I'm really, really hoping that they do and he still has to sign some paperwork so that would be important. Uh, but she also said that I might be like having my egg retrieval like next Thursday. Like that came suddenly out of nowhere. But that was before she looked at my ovaries. She said, I can't really be a judge yet because I didn't look at your ovaries. But she said, I assume that they will trigger, trigger you on Tuesday and that you will have your egg retrieval on Thursday. I don't know how it's going to work because Justin is supposed to freeze his sperm on Tuesday. Would he still be good to do fresh sperm on Thursday? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check with the RE when we do that, whenever we do that. So, that's the update for now. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey there. <laughs> 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 You're the best.